Friends, you are about to experience a step-by-step -step internet computer protocol tutorial showing you if you love internet computer like I do and you see the future of crypto and the future of the internet is being built on chain and internet computer is the only place to build fully on chain. If you're wondering, okay, Jerry, I've done that research. I agree with you. Now what? How do I get my internet computer off an exchange? How do I stake it and earn the 16% APR rewards you've been telling me about? Please help me get started. If that sounds like you, this video is for you. I'm recording it live for the third time on Twitch right now, so hopefully it actually works. So step one is to do a lot of your own research and uh, then do even more research than you think you should do so that you actually can understand why internet computers different. The executive summary is that internet computers the only crypto platform you can build a website, database, NFTs, pictures, videos, games, up to 400 gigabytes of code in a single smart contract canister. This is breakthrough technology. Nobody else has it. Nobody else is even trying. And uh, that's why, to me, I, internet computer is the only crypto that's interesting. And it's the only crypto I hold in my portfolio, internet computer, and things on internet computer. So if you're like, okay, great. What next? If you want to buy on exchange, I buy on Coinbase and then I withdraw to the network nervous system wallet. And that's what we're gonna focus on is showing you how to do all that stuff. So if you're ready to join me on the network nervous system, this is the wallet. An internet identity is the wallet you use to hold your internet computer and stake it. You do not need any other wallet. And uh, I will explain that now. So if you wanna create an internet identity, go to the official internetcomputer.org website Go over to use and then click on create an internet identity. Now, this is intended to be a video of the bigger picture of how to do everything. So I'm not going to take 28 minutes to walk you through creating an internet identity and everything you need to know about that because I already did that in a previous video. So I recommend if you've never created an internet identity, pause this video right now and watch this whole 28 minute video because if you screw up your wallet, and uh, your internet identity creation, you can lose everything. If you want me to give you the quick version and maybe you'll then watch the detailed version, let's do that now. So the key things from this video are one, you need to create an internet identity on this button. And uh, this operates based on the device you're using. So you first should create an internet identity on uh, your phone or on a computer or on a tablet and then immediately authorize another device so that if you lose one of your devices, you can still access it on the other one. Then, as soon as you've created an internet identity and authorized another device, all of that can be done from the link here, then you need to set up a recovery phrase. And for the best security, lock your recovery phrase and keep your recovery phrase absolutely secret. Even if you lose your recovery phrase, as long as you still have access to your devices and keep authorizing devices, you still would maintain access to your wallet and nobody with your devices could take your wallet away from you. You do not need a, net, a hardware wallet or any other kind of wallet. In fact, that can add some significant complexity and could even lead to you losing your crypto. So that's what you need to do before you can move your crypto onto the network nervous system. So once you've created an internet identity from internetcomputer.org under use, this will, this takes you to identity.ic0.app when you click on it. Then the next thing, after you've got your internet identity set up, you've set your recovery phrase up, you have at least two devices authorized, then you're ready to, your wallet is prepared now. You can pull your tokens off an exchange. You should never, ever, 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 ever hold your tokens on an exchange. They, in addition to them not really being your funds at all, but the exchange's funds, you can easily, this is where many people in crypto have got ripped off by having exchanges go down that were doing very shady business practices behind the scenes. Even if your exchange is not shady, you still might be stuck and unable to withdraw or sell your crypto in certain situations. So, and uh, you uh, you don't have real custody of it. So always take your internet computer off of exchanges. That helps everybody in the whole ecosystem, except the exchanges. And who wants to help them anyway? So once you've created your internet identity, then you'll go to the same use menu and click on NNS and staking. 
this is your wallet. You don't need any other wallet for internet computer. And you go into my tokens internet computer, you send your internet computer from your exchange wallet to this wallet. Click the copy button here and it will bring up this it'll that's your wallet address. Now for best results send 1 to 10 or whatever is a small amount of you for you. Send a small amount of ICP as a test transaction so that you don't f up and lose all your ICP trying to withdraw it from an exchange. Then after you've confirmed you have the white right wallet address, then uh, send all the rest of it in the next transaction and load up in your main wallet. That is um, something I'm amazed how many of you have not done this yet. So this is essential to do that. Then once you've got it in the network nervous system, if you want to get the sweet 16% APR rewards I'm talking about that you hear me go on and on about, then it, the, as and you can check them anytime on the ICP dashboard, dashboard.internetcomputer.org slash governance. You have to lock your internet computer, not just for eight years, but th then leave it locked indefinitely if you want to get the maximum rewards. You can lock it for as little as six months, but you'll only get 8.5%, and as soon as you start unlocking, you will get zero until it unlocks. That said, the, the reason I lock for eight years is because I've noticed the biggest gains come from being in on stuff early and then staying committed to it. So you can see what I've done for myself. I have 2,907 ICP that I bought locked up here, and then I've also staked 89 more that I've gotten out of maturity. So I'm doing this myself. I'm going to show you how to do, uh, you, do this yourself. So once you have the tokens here, then you click on My Neuron Staking on the left, and you then click Stake Neurons down here on the bottom. You're going to take whatever you want to lock up. So I'm going to just put the max on here because I'm doing this as a demonstration. So this right now, it takes it out of my main wallet and sticks it into a neuron. A neuron is like a brain cell in the ICP network. So we need to sign in here filming this live and we will sign back in with our security key here. And... Uh, if it signs you out, you just sign back in and resume doing your session just like I did here. So, you are, for your internet identity, one important detail, make sure the number it gives you for your internet identity, you have to have that number to access everything else. If you lose that number, in theory, you could go through and guess, but that might take a while. So make sure you keep your internet identity number and uh, th that you get when you create your wallet as well as your recovery phrase. So uh, in order to stake neurons, what we'll do, we go to my neuron staking, click stake neurons, I'll put max and then click create. Now keep in mind, I have not locked anything up yet. The moment where you lock things up happens in just a minute with what is called dissolve delay. Dissolve delay is how long it will take you from the moment you click dissolve until you get your money liquid again. And a dissolve delay is what gives you voting power. So for example, if I click on max, my 1.72 ICP will translate into 3.44 voting power, and it's voting power that actually gives you the rewards. So... That's why I lock up, I lock up, you set your dissolve delay here. Now the dissolve delay is not unlocking until you click dissolve. I'll show you that in just a minute. So you can skip setting a delay here, but you won't get any rewards and you might as well just leave it in your main wall if you're going to do that. So here's how you lock up for eight years. So you lock up for eight years. And you click set delay. Now, once you click the set delay button, it says confirm and set delay. This is final. This is final. Now, once you confirm and set delay, you cannot get this money back by any means. The only thing you could do is sell your entire internet identity. And you'll generally get, you know, a fraction of the ICP locked up when you're selling it. And that to me is not safe for something I would engage in. So 
think long and hard, giggity, before you click on confirm and set delay. Because this will stick it in there indefinitely, giggity. <laughs> so click on confirm and set delay when you want to make a serious commitment to internet computer, get the maximum rewards, and be in this for the long term, which to me is where all the return is. Once you do that, it's locked in there and there's no getting it back out. And boy, how I wish I'd got my Bitcoin locked up for eight years in 2014 or even 2017. Now, second essential step. You must either vote manually or follow neurons or you will get nothing in rewards. So the simplest thing to do you have to follow, now read these. It says all except governance and SNS neurons fund. Then it says governance. Then it says SNS and neurons fund. So if you want to get the the easiest thing you can do right here is click on add followee, click on follow Definity Foundation. And Definity votes on Definity invented internet computer is the team behind you know internet computer. It makes sense at this point to just follow their votes if you want passive income and to support the network. So if you follow Definity, you will get about 90% or so of the voting rewards. So 16% times 0.9. If you, and you must follow on all three of these, if you read everything except governance and SNS. So you need to follow one, two, three. You need to follow like this in order to get 90% of the rewards. Now, if some of you are absolute tryhards out there, like me, that I want 100% of the rewards, I don't want 90%, I want 100%. So it, it gets a little more complicated if you want 100%. The simplest thing you can do is just follow me. So if you follow me, I'm following Definity, I'm following Tagger, and I'm following a couple other people who vote 100% of the time. And there's rules for all that. So if you want the simplest thing for your maximum rewards, you would do this. So instead of following Definity, I have an open chat channel. So if you join, if you go to jerrybanfield.com, my website is hosted on internet computer, way cheaper and uh, scale more scalable than other WordPress hosting. You click on my open chat it will take you in here. You go down to neurons, scroll up to the one on the top, and then you copy this number right here, which you'll also notice is the same number in here. So you copy this number up here. If you want the 100% rewards, you go down into your neuron and click follow. And then under add followee, you paste my neuron in there. And you, every time my neuron votes, yours will automatically vote however mine does. Mine is set up to get 100% rewards passively right now. I may, I've may i manually voted in the past. I just followed Affinity, but I'm very interested in getting 100% of the awards and participating. So right now, my neuron follows votes 100% of the time, maybe 99 point something sometimes. If here or there are votes missed unexpectedly, but I've set mine up to to get the max rewards totally passively. I could, you know, go AFK completely and I'll come back and the rewards are in there. So you must follow my neuron if you want the full rewards on all three of these as well, or you will not get those votes in. So once you've done all the neuron following, you are now set up to where you can get and make sure you can do different things if you want to. You can follow Definity on one, mine, whatever. That's up to you. The easiest way is follow my Definity or follow my neuron in open chat. Once you've set that up, then you want to consider. So what I'm doing is I I am not dissolving. So if you do not dissolve your neuron, you are not unlocking your neuron. So my neuron is, it's a dissolve delay of eight years, but it's unlocked indefinitely. I mean, it, it will not unlock until I click start dissolving. Once I click start dissolving, then the eight year countdown starts and I lose my age bonus. So if you want to dissolve, you should do it as soon as you create a neuron, unless it's a six month neuron, in which case you will get nothing because under six months, you don't get voting rewards. So if you've locked up for eight years, you want your money back in eight years, you need to start dissolving immediately. I am leaving mine indefinitely because 
this to me is something that could provide income for the rest of my life and i don't want to touch it anytime in the foreseeable future and because i'm doing it that way i continue to get an age bonus an age bonus goes up to 25 percent and is multiplicative so times 1.25 with the other rewards so uh, this means my voting even as the internet computer even as the total rewards go down my rewards should remain stable even as the total rewards go down uh, according to the icp voting reward supply and even as staking participation goes up my rewards should remain steady because I have an age bonus. So I'm locked and I'm leaving it indefinitely and getting that age bonus. Now, there's a couple of more options here before you're really ready to go. So once you are understand the dissolve delay, you decide to start dissolving or not. And if you lock for less than eight years, you can always increase your delay up to a maximum of eight years at any time. So there's a couple more options. So your voting rewards come in the form of maturity and you can estimate your voting rewards at any time. For example, if I take my main neuron, you can go into the dashboard, you can just search your neuron. And when you search your neuron, you can see the exact rewards that you're going to be getting paid out. Like my estimated rewards, keep in mind the, the rewards for a new person are 16%. I'm getting a little bit higher because of my age bonus now. So my estimated 16.3, and here's the key thing. It says daily rewards, maturity. So right now, I on average get 1.34 ICP in the form of maturity, which must be converted to ICP over a seven day process. I'll talk about that in a minute. So I'm on average getting 1.34 ICP a day. Just imagine when the price of ICP goes over $1,000, I'll be getting over $1,000 a day without touching my principal. That's the vision. That's what we're really doing here. So we go back over here. The maturity comes into here. So there's two options. One, you can stake your maturity, which this is the best option if you want to accumulate more. So if you, if you want to increase your position, if you want to compound your interest, if you're in a state where you're buying ICP, the best move is to stake your maturity. And if you want to do this, I'm right now, I'm doing this automatically. So I am automatically staking my new maturity. So every day when my maturity comes in, I'm compounding it right now. And that's why my voting power is up to 6,090. So I essentially have the equivalent of about 3,000 ICP. But the best part is because this is maturity and not ICP, I do not have to pay tax on it. We've discussed that a lot. And I feel confident I do not have to pay tax on staked maturity. And the staked maturity gets my full age bonus. Whereas when I merge a neuron, it takes the age bonus down. So it's most economically efficient if you want to increase your position to stake your maturity and to automatically stake your new maturity. Now, many of you have asked, when am I going to sell? My outlook is that any price under $100 for ICP, I want to increase my ICP position. And just D and especially unless I, I, I don't have anything better that I see to invest in than ICP under $100. So as long as ICP is under $100, I'm going to keep accumulating. I'll, I'll set up wallets for my children and DCA into their wallets. When the price gets over $100, then I want to start taking profits, but not off the principal. I want to start then taking these rewards because once these rewards hit over a hundred, once I start getting over a hundred dollars a day in rewards, then I want to start selling. Then I want to start selling and then indefinitely take my profits or until it goes back under a hundred dollars. So once it goes over a hundred dollars, or if I think it's getting close to $100, I might uncheck this and start accumulating my maturity here. And then when you want, yes, this could, you really need this video because it's it, it, this is complicated. So uh, what I'm gonna do once it, it gets over 100 or starts getting close to 100 to the point where I'd wanna sell, I will start accumulating my maturity and available. 
And then when I click spawn neuron, a week later, I will get a brand new unlocked neuron in here from my voting rewards. And then I can sell that neuron. I can, that, I click dissolve and that neuron instantly goes back into my bank, into my main ICP. Now, some of you have asked, well, what if, you know, you can't cash it out via crypto exchanges? There's tons of ways you can use crypto. I could buy gold, for example, directly with crypto. If ICP was blocked on exchanges, I could swap it directly to CKBTC and swap that over to Bitcoin or ETH. So I, I'm not worried about being, I'll be able to get this into some kind of value off of ICP no matter what happens. So that's, that's in order to get started and be completely successful on ICP. That is what you really need to know here. Now there's a lot of other stuff you can do to get fancy. For example, you can vote on proposals to manually to have your input, which is definitely a good idea. And uh, if you're following people, they usually won't vote before you. So you can always check the proposals like, you know, whether you want to create a service nervous system DAO for Sneed, I can manually vote on this. And then my manual vote will go through even if people haven't followed yet. Now, keep in mind, if you have just locked up your ICP, you will not be able to vote on anything. Only this neuron voted on that. This one's new. So it'll take you about a week to start actually earning rewards because you can't earn any rewards on proposals that have been created before you locked your ICP up. So you have to wait for new proposals to be made after you've locked your ICP up. And then you have to have the votes go through and then you have to wait for the maturity to settle. So it can be about a week before between when you lock and when you start getting maturity in your account. But after that, it will be very consistent. Occasionally you'll miss a day, but most of the time I just get maturity every day. Last thing I'll show you how to do, if you wanna merge neurons, like I don't wanna have these two neurons out here. So what I wanna do is merge neurons. I wanna put these into one single neuron. So I wanna add this 1.72 to this 2900. The issue with this is this one has no age bonus and this one does. So this one will take my age bonus down slightly in proportion to the amount. So with this small amount of ICP, it'll basically be nothing. And you need to select the first one that you want to merge into the second one. So we're going to take this new one and stick it into this old one and click on merge neurons and it'll give you the property. So this the dissolve delay is the same the icp stakes the same and it'll show you the voting power expected merge result etc so the the this new neuron i created will disappear and it will fold into this new one and this is irreversible so i click on confirm merge and uh, now i'm back to one single neuron it has a little bit more icp a little bit smaller age bonus and uh, everything is all set so finally, if you're wondering, okay, I did all that, what next, or I need help, go to jerrybanfield.com. I've walked people through this in a one-on-one -on -one call, which is why I decided to do another video about it. So one-on-one -on -one video call, you can always schedule a video call with me if you'd like to chat. And you can go into my open chat, which is also linked on jerrybanfield.com. You can ask questions. The VIP one ICP channel is my, I always check this channel first and reply here. Then I go to the Diamonds channel. Then if I have time, which I often do, I go into the free-for-all. So join my open chat, ask help, ask for help and questions if you want to connect further with the community. And I film this live on my Twitch. So if you want the best experience, come hang out with us live on Twitch. Really appreciate your time here. We'll wrap the video up for YouTube and then we'll have more on Twitch.